Hi, welcome to an Oslo video. Today's a fun video where I'm going to talk about the graphics windows. So this is where we see all our data graphically coming out, depending on what we're looking at. As I start this, if you notice down here at the bottom bar, if I double click here, I've got the graphics auto clear on. And what I actually want to do is I'm going to turn this off. And this is certainly not necessary. Graphics uh, automatically clear graphics windows. I'm going to turn that off. And the reason I'm going to do that is it's going to show you a little bit uh, of, of some extra features that you can get on this. And another one I'm actually going to do is the, this is a command way to do it, STP echo on. Echo on will now print out commands that correspond to buttons that I hit and different things that I'm doing in the program. So I just wanted to turn that on for this video so you can see as uh, the graphics commands that are being called in the background and you're clicking on buttons and doing things. That preference is, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's somewhere in here because I usually uh, just do STP echo on. To turn it off, it's STP echo off. So moving forward, I have one graphics window open uh, right now and I have a, a, a lens open. The lens that I actually have open is just a conic. Now the auto draw window isn't really a graphics window per se. It will automatically show changes that I make to the lens uh, in real time and so it's kind of convenient for that. And, but it's only open when you have the lens spreadsheet editor open, the surface data spreadsheet open, this spreadsheet open. So if I want to draw the same thing here, I can come to this button, click, and say plan view. Now here's my drawing with a scale bar on it. Relatively straightforward, you see down here that uh, command was PLA and there's some other things that have been run as, as we go along. So there's a picture of the lens. Now if I were to make a change, so a change that I can make to this, for example, let's say this is a conic. Let me change this now to being a sphere. The conic constant is zero. Now it's a sphere, so it doesn't look right at all. It's got a ton of spherical aberration. And if I wanted to actually compare what it looks like now to what it looked like before, I can actually just double left click here, which updates this window. But because I've turned the graphics auto clear off, the new lens is also printed with the old lens. Now if I double click again and again and again, the same sorts of things keep happening. I can go to the plans view here. This one just doesn't happen to change the uh, pen colors. If I print another one, uh, wow, what happened there? Something broke. Well, I have the conic uh, still turned off on the lens, so it doesn't like to trace rays through it. So there we go. Now I've got this printed up. I still have my graphics auto clear off. Now why did that change? Well some of these commands will do an auto clear no matter what. So the purpose of the auto clear is sometimes you can use that to overlay one graphic onto the other but just be careful because it doesn't always necessarily work the way you expect. If you want to clear a graphics window and you've got the auto clear off you can right click here and go to clear window and that CLR and another one that I know is GCL graphics clear. So these all do the same kinds of, of stuff. So that was a fancy little thing that I'm hitting you with right off the bat, but really not too hard to implement in the program. What I want to do now is I want to um, graphics auto clear on. I want to turn that back on for the rest of the video. So that's starting off. I've got my window open and some of the crazy sorts of stuff I can do. Now to get to some more basic stuff, which is probably why a lot of you are watching, there's a button right here in the corner, and you've seen this perhaps in some other places such as up here in the uh, top button bar or also in this text bar. This gives you a number of different options of different menus. Now this one doesn't work quite the same as the one up, up here in the upper left. This one, you only have one of these selected at a time. So if you look at this, we can uh, open a new graphics window from there. You can also open a new graphics window here from this window. You can open one also with a command. 
and that's graphics window open. GWO is the three letter command for it. And I can say, let me open window number 23, GWO 23. You can have up to 32 windows open in Oslo for graphics at any time. I think the most I've ever had is five or six. Maybe some zoom lens designers and people that do uh, more things and have really massive screens or projectors, they may do with, with lots of resolution. Maybe they do more. But the point is you can have that many open, which is really uh, very nice. So this button, you can open new windows, you can tile them together and do some other uh, types of things. You can invert the background, which changes it to black. So there's a black background. Now there's an interesting uh, also uh, graphics primitive that allows you to change the background to black on any um, as a preference for all for the entire program. So there's a lot of things that you can do on that. I'm going to invert it back, black, back to white. <clears throat> um, in terms of the number of things or the types of things you can do with the uh, choices here, there's the standard set of tools, which has kind of a mixture of things, you know, drawing, 3D drawing, the uh, ray intercept uh, curves, some spot diagrams, um, some MTF stuff at the end. And you might say, well, that doesn't have quite what I want. I really want a lot more spot diagram information here. And I want to be able to plot this spot diagram. I want to be able to plot this one. And you say, I really don't like, you know, I, I for me personally, I almost always invert the background with spots. You probably can't see this that well. That actually is quite blue. If I right click here, though, I can also update recalculate using new parameters. In this case, I'm going to change it to symbols. And now, ah, now you can see the symbols for the spots. So lots of things you can do with the top parts of this um, and all these different options, point spread function, MTF, energy analysis, zoom. So you can see a lot of these are analysis features, which is what you'd expect from a graphics output window. I've already shown you can also right click. And as you right click a window, it'll allow you to update Double left clicking also updates because remember I said it doesn't automatically update. If something changes, this needs to be updated. I believe up here there is under graphics, there is an update all. So if I have a bunch of windows open at once, this is a great way to do it. In this specific case, that was the only window I had open. And so it only put one command down. I'm actually not even sure what it would do if I put a second window up and I had a different command open. Let's put up let's put up something entirely different here. Let's put up this ray intercept curves. Now let's go to window and update all. And I really don't know what this is gonna do. Always risky to do in a in a video, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So it only did it for it only showed the command for my active window, is what it actually did. That was just the echo part. I believe all of them were updated. But to do that, I'll need to change something in the program. So let's just see what that does. So I'm going to 15 there. So these are completely different. Now we go to window, I go to graphics, I go to update all. These are now completely updated. And so I believe it did update them. So that's one place you can update all the windows. I am just in the habit of, usually I don't have so many windows open. I usually just double left click. So some good things to do there on that. You can actually also turn this off and have nothing up there. I can clear the window now. I can reinvert back. So you get pretty used to using these uh, these program these um, these windows. They're not automatically sized the same if you tile them. That can uh, help you with resizing them. And as you can see, the graphics are not uh, entirely isometric. So depending on the shape of your window, you may have uh, different sort of shapes going on. There's a few other things to zoom in. I can left click and then drag and that'll zoom me into that. If I double click, it just goes back, kind of unzooms it. You can also use your mouse scroll button if that's the way you'd like to do it. And there's also some right click options on that. You can print, copy to clipboard, save as. Now the copy to clipboard, I've always had mixed results with because it saves it in a, it, it, it puts it in the clipboard in a certain kind of vector form. And uh, I find that sometimes when I try to post it into a presentation or something like that, that way I get some big, huge version of it and I just don't like it. So I often go ahead and just save it as a file 
if I'm directly using Oslo graphics. It takes another minute to do, it takes a, a small amount of time more, but then I also have it saved in that sort of way. So it's not always, it's not certainly not a bad thing. So that's just how I tend to operate uh, with that. Um, let's see. I think I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I find the graphics windows are extremely useful. Uh, I use them all the time. Don't forget that you got to update them. A lot of the other stuff I've shown, uh, there will be a corresponding um, little presentation where I'll, I'll cover them a little bit. A lot of them are, are tips and tricks to use this. Basically, if you know how to use this button here, and you know what it does, what it turns on and off, and you're familiar with zooming in and out, right clicking, and using what's in the right clicking, you're good to go. Oh, in addition to opening up uh, windows and closing them, you're pretty much good to go at that point. It's uh, very straightforward to use these. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks.